Nico, uh, good point. Very, very hard fought. Yeah, good point. Um, step in the right direction. Um, it's a tough place to come. Very good team, but we dug deep um, and we got the point. Yeah, and how much does that mean to uh, to work so hard? The worst thing would have been, I suppose, to concede late when they're throwing everything at you. How much does it mean to, to get a point at a place like this? They're seventh in the Premier League. Yeah, like I said, um, it, it was so important for us to come here today. Um, we was looking for the three points, but we're coming away with the point, and I think that's good enough. Um, Attacking-wise, I don't think we're at our best, but I think defensively... Um, we did we did our part and we got the clean sheet so that's the main thing after the game against Leicester I know that, that Steve Cooper was very keen to to stem that flow of goals that that were going in against the side and conceded the penalty obviously at uh, at Wolves at the weekend but draw against Aston Villa since then clean sheet here away from home as well it seems as if you are doing a lot of hard work inside your own half of the pitch to to put that right what was going wrong earlier in the season yeah um I think the message has been clear that we need to stop conceding goals um, and we've been working hard on that and I think it's now paying off. Um, we're getting obviously a clean sheet today um, um, and yeah I think it's just it's down to us players to, to stick together um, and to do everything we can to, to keep the clean sheet because um, I think first and foremost that's the main objective. If we keep a clean sheet then hopefully we can let the attackers get the goals then we should be should be getting the three points, but today was just the point, so we're going to take up the point home and we'll, we'll build on that. Because it's important to get it right at your end of the pitch, isn't it? So you've got that platform to build on and then hopefully things start to get better in, in the more attacking areas. Yeah, 100%. Um, like I said, we the focus has been on getting that clean sheet and our defensive work. Um, and now that's coming together slowly. We'll start more, I don't know, maybe working on the attacking side and, and getting them goals because it will come. We're, we're a new team and we're getting to know each other and I think it's, 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 getting, it's getting much better from the start of the season. So I think once it all comes together, then um, we can get going. But like I said, this is a step in the right direction, um, coming here, a tough place to come and getting the point. A lot of talk, of course, about all the new players. You're one of them, of course, who's come into the club this season. Do you feel, Nico, that you're starting to get those relationships on the pitch that you, you know, are vital in football, aren't they? Yeah, 100%. Um, we're all getting to know each other, um, not just on the field, but off the field as well. Um, and like I said, it's, it's, coming, it's coming on good. Um, so as long as we keep on building our relationships with each other, get, still getting to know each other, um, the results will start coming and the performances will be getting better. Um, we've, worked, we've worked so hard lately, um, getting them bonds on the pitch. Um, and like I said, we're coming near to a tough place and we're going on with a point, so it's a step in the right direction. Um, a left-sided job for you tonight, which is uh, obviously a little bit different for you. How do you find it on that side of the pitch? <laughs> yeah, um, listen, wherever the gaffer puts me, I'm happy to play. Um, but it's, it's not nothing new to me. Obviously, I play on the left for Wales. Um, so, yeah, it's like I said, as, as long as I'm on the field, I'm happy. And if we're coming away from, a, coming away from this place with a point, then I think the team's happy enough. Um, it's just something to build on now. Can't let you go, Nico, without a word about those fans. Tuesday night at Brighton, 3,000 of them. They never shut up all night, did they? Yeah, no, absolutely amazing. Um, honestly, the loudest fans I've heard in a, in a long time. Wherever we go, um, you listen to them today, they're louder than the home fans. And that's not just today, that's near enough everywhere we go. So, um, yeah, the fans are incredible and they're our 12th man. Um, we appreciate them so much and we know it's not uh, an easy journey coming down here. But now we do appreciate every single fan that came here today. And how much are you looking forward to Saturday, Liverpool at the City Green? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, a club that I grew up with, so it would be nice to... Nice to beat them or get take a point away from them. Um, be a great feeling, but now nah, listen, we've got to work hard for that. And I think tomorrow, all focus is now just on Liverpool.